what's going on, Zoopsters? Welcome to a new episode here and now. Let's go for some free rewards and see just what happens over here because this specific type of maze of treasures is actually really, really good because we can get a ton of awesome rewards. And if the guard appears, it's not going to be that expensive. So we might get to the end of this, maybe. So let's see how this goes right now. And now we got some coins. Fair enough. I mean, we already started out really, really good with the card pack. So you can't really go wrong from here. Yeah, nice. It's not bad at all. I just hope a guard doesn't appear before door number five because that's that's where it's ridiculous. All right, at least we're okay right now. Nothing crazy happening at the moment. And that is guards. Okay, at least no guard is appearing and that is fine as long as it's free. As long as it's free. All right, so there you go. That could have been a gold card pack as well. Those are good. But you know what's even better? Just getting through this and not finding a guard. That's better. And there you have it amazing we could just end off here but i don't think we're gonna do that because we can just spend gems on one guard that appears so uh we're gonna keep on going until a guard appears you know what guard come here oh never mind now uh i don't want to see you anymore well that's uh that's a bummer that's a shame but so far so good and if a guard appears at door number nine right now i am actually going to snap i am going to go insane if that happens <gasps> let's go Okay, we're good. That was worth it. 78 gems or whatever that was for 10 doors worth of goodies is not that bad. All right, it's fine. It is actually something worth it in the Maze of Treasures, which is something I never thought I'd say because the Maze of Treasures is usually not that worth it. All right, there you go. We got some duplicates, fine. And then duplicates out of that. But those could have not been duplicates, so it wasn't too bad at the end of the day. All right, what kind of weird stuff do we even have here to check out? We got the random five-star card, which is cool. But we need the two stars and the three stars and the one stars, basically. Not the, not the five stars. We're good when it comes to five-star cards. Okay, we have enough of those. Don't worry, we're doing fine. We're balling. But for now, let's just claim some other rewards like this. Amazing. And what kind of stuff do we have here? Oh, nice. That's the most satisfying thing in the game. And now, there you go. That's looking good. Some coins and all that. Some gems. You'll have to see this sort of stuff here. And I'm pretty sure there's also an event of the game with uh, Nico, Zilla, and Silverback Bruce. And if you play those two, you'll get some free rewards that uh, if you get enough kills, basically. I mean, what's free to claim here? I don't get it. Are we getting baited into this? I'm pretty sure we are because there's nothing there. That's so peculiar. I don't get it. All right. Time to... Time to go back to the trenches and claim these. I've, I never thought that's going to happen. But okay, we're here and that's what we're doing and what just happened to the game right now. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're back. We're back at it again. Okay. And now, what kind of stuff do we have? Do we have silver toolboxes? Yeah, we do actually. They're good. And okay. Upgrading items is not that bad, especially if they're the defibrillator, you know, and it's a silver item and all that. That's good. You love to see that sort of stuff because you're going to want to use that again and again and again. All right, because even if your team is really good or really bad, still, you're going to need the defibrillator as many times as possible. All right, time to, cla time to uh, grab these coins as well because you never know when you run out of coins because we technically don't have enough to do some sort of insane upgrade right now. But you know what's going to get us more coins to do an insane upgrade? Something that I'm going to show you here in just a second. Hold on a minute. So there you go. And that's basically it there. We're going to save the rest for later. So, what is the deal here in Zuba in terms of rewards? You can now get different rewards here for free. And they kind of look like this. Look how cool this is. It is the Clan Wars and it's here. And I haven't seen this, like, at all. Like, ever. Why? I don't know. But it's super, super intriguing. So, what is the deal here? How do you play Clan Wars and how do you get these sweet free rewards? Well... The answer to that is simple. It works in points. And for every kill that uh, one of your clan members gets, that amounts to a point here. And as you can see, we have four clans that we're going up against. Envy, Crazy Animals, whatever this is, I can't read that, and Familia right here. And we have 52 kills or 52 points, basically. And the top one has 193. So we got to get in the top three to actually get some sort of rewards. Now, what kind of rewards do you get? Well, you have this. In the first place, Emerald Crate and then this cool special emote as well which is awesome in the second place you got a uh, uh, toolbox here that's gold which is not bad at all you can get some sweet items out of that and in the third place you got the gold crate from which of course you can get characters so it's not bad getting that okay and uh, the rewards the best clans in each group will win awesome rewards finish first to win the ultimate bragging emote so what is the deal here you, the main attraction is probably going to be emotes for you to brag with i guess because that's what you basically do with emotes so how do we do something here? Well, let's go and take a character and try to get as many kills, or if you want to call them that, points, 
and as and do that and do it as much as possible and just see how this goes and what character could you do to actually do clan wars better you know because that's the question that me and you are uh, trying to answer right now okay so let's take a character that can get a lot of kills. Now, of course, that varies from the characters that you have upgraded and stuff. Because I, I might say that Duke is the best, because he probably is. But still, <laughs> if you have him at level 1, you shouldn't play him. But we have him at level 18 right now. In fact, actually, never mind. Let's go for someone like Henry, because he's the assassin character. And where did Henry go? Where is he? There, there he is. And let's change up that skin, too. I know it's rare, but still. And items. This is solid. This works. So let's go and try to get as many kills as humanly possible here in solo full as well. With a lot of enemies. Here we are. Now, the only time where kills will not count is when you're playing deathmatch and you're defeating guards. Specifically in deathmatch. Why? I don't know. This is how they did it, obviously. Whoa, look at all of this. Look how many points that is. I don't see characters. I see points right now. And by points, I mean free rewards. Amazing. Okay, let's see how this goes here. Of course, the clan war system in this game is very bare, bare bones. Nothing different in terms of gameplay. It's always get as many kills as possible, which has been the the motto for this game for the longest time. Now, even with the events, you know, with the points and all that, with the energy, still, let's try to get as many kills as possible, and that's it. And there's the same principle here, which is a bit disappointing, but at least it is super easy to understand for everyone. Get kills, get free rewards. It is super straightforward, and it's uh, it's good. You can't really argue with that, can you? It's, 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 it's a very simple goal. Just play the game and then it'll work. And I like that. You don't have to devote extra time into the clan wars specifically so that you get the free wars. Just play the game normally and that's it. All right, do your other stuff and you'll be getting this too without even thinking about it, which is super cool. And I'm curious to see how many of these points will rack up at the end of this match. So we're going to see that in just a second here. But now we got to focus on getting as many, well, kills slash points as possible, you know? Hey, look at that. Level 20 X. You know, without the icy nickname and all that, it doesn't look that intimidating, but <laughs> trust me, she is intimidating. Well, fine, we're level 18, we should be strong, we should be okay. Quite a threat to the Knicks, actually, because we can deal more DPS than her, I'm pretty sure. Easy, okay. <laughs> Calm down for a second, oh boy. There's a lot of stuff here, let's use the barrel consumable, because it is useful. It is, uh, it is good. It makes you, uh, stand out less, even if characters know you exist. It's kind of rough actually going after a barrel, specifically when the character that's inside is a high level, because what you do is you waste one of your weapons to destroy the barrel, in most cases, with most characters, and then you have the other two to fend off against the character that comes out of the barrel. So basically, you're just one of your weapons is gone in that interaction, which is very inconvenient, I guess. It's not convenient to go after these barrels, so that's why they did it right here with the barrels, and it's super cool. Now, let's see how this goes right here. We have six kills. It's solid, but why are we camping around? This makes no sense. Hey, look at that. It's the Nyx. Yeah, I see you, Nyx. Come here, Nyx. I see you. Easy. Easy. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. That's how you use the barrels properly. Whoa, we just got launched into space. And would have probably died if that weren't uh, to happen. So I think we're okay if, if that happens. I'm, I'm not that mad, to be honest. Well, level 20, Nyx. What were you expecting? There's nothing you can do against that in most cases. So let's go back to the clan wars here and see how this goes. And 50... No, 64! So now, from that one singular match, I'm pretty sure, or maybe someone else playing that got two kills or something, something along these lines, we just got to third place, and that means we got free rewards. So it's that easy. It's not easy... It's not that difficult to get that many kills, okay? And what is going on here in the ranking system? And yeah, we got 67. So, guard kills count, but not in death match. That's the only, only drawback here. So, with that contribution, we're almost at the second place right here, which is super cool. But it's not just us who has to be playing. The whole squad, the whole gang, the whole clan has to be playing right here to really, really do all the good stuff here and get the free rewards. So, fellas, smash like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye.